Dave Fishwick, a businessman who set up the Bank of Dave for his local community, has been out on our behalf asking people how they feel about big banks amid the cost of living crisis. What do you think is the best thing the bank could do to help you? Uh, the best thing is answer the bloody phone. <laughs> yeah, I think it's disgusting. When they're not very good at their jobs, they get like multi-million pound uh, like handouts and bailouts. And when I'm not very good at my job, I just get no, sent down the road. Just get in touch with people, tell them what's happening and uh, be more competitive. Give you a better rate. Yes. Interests are all over the place. My mortgage is getting higher and higher. It's, yeah, um, the banks are hurting the quality of life at the moment. What would you say to them big banks tomorrow? Sort it out now. We need the help. Straight talking as ever from our viewers. Dave Fishwick joins us as a straight talker as well. Good morning. Good morning, good morning. morning. We might have to recruit you, I think, as a road reporter. <laughs> that was good work. It was interesting meeting real people asking real questions. Yeah, because, of course, the, the area that you've set your bank up, the Bank of Dave, is up in Burnley, so much further north than where you were doing that for us yesterday. But I'd imagine the tone of what you hear, where you're from in your community, is very similar to the tone you got down here with regards to what, uh, what those people were saying about the banks and their profits? Well, people are worried about losing their homes. That's the big thing. You know, you can't have a situation where today you've made 3.59 billion. Yeah. And on the other side, people are going to lose their homes. I've got people ringing up wanting loans. And some of them, there's a young lady the other day rung up wanting a loan for baby milk. So, you know, the world is changing and not for the better. When actually people can't afford the basics. What do you make of this then? £3.59 billion for the first half of the year. Those are NatWest profits. I think what should be happening... I mean, let me give you an example. I got a phone call a while ago from a school teacher in Colne, in Lancashire, saying, Dave, we'd love one of your buses, but we can't afford one. However, we need food for the kids. The kids are coming to school starving. So I'm thinking to myself, well, what do you need? They sent me a link. We got toasting machines, we got equipment for the kitchen, and I bought them a year's supply of food. I said, three months before that runs out, ring me again, I'll buy you another year's supply of food. So you've got a community operation up there in Burnley buying kids food, and on the other side, you've got bankers asking for 20, 30 million pound bonuses. It's just wrong. So actually, banks should be giving more back. Because when you look at the NatWest figure in, in particular, though, the public, you know, taxpayers do own 38% of that bank, we will be getting, it's been estimated, £190 million as a benefit from that performance. But I guess it depends where that money ends up. And you're saying actually people need that money in their pockets, don't they, rather than going to the bank's profits? If it was up to me, I mean, these big banks have gone out for furlough. Every single one of them took money and grants and all this extra money. Burnley Savings and Loans didn't take a penny in furlough, didn't take a penny in grants, proving we're fit and proper people. These big banks need to be able to stand on their own two feet. They take money from the public and give them absolutely next to nothing interest, one point something percent. Because the criticism is more, the mortgage rates uh, are obviously rising and they pass that cost on immediately, don't they? Yes, they do. That's funny, isn't it? They but when, pass that cost on immediately. But when it comes to savings, if Ooh, well. people have got savings, <laughs> they're not rising by the rate. I mean, how, how can they get away with that, though? How does that How happen? can they justify it? I think they make the rules up as they go along. People who rob banks go to prison, but banks that rob people get paid bonuses. Now, that has to stop. But when you've got situations where they're making a fortune on mortgages, they pay next to nothing in savings, they take money off you, me and everybody else here in the UK, they then send it abroad and buy things like credit default swaps and stocks and shares. And if it goes really well, they make a fortune fortune in bonuses and they make a fortune in profits. If it goes bad, they come to the taxpayer to bail them out. There's a lot of focus on that Western Coots, of course, at the minute because of the scenario with Nigel Farage closing down his bank account and then refusing to sort of accept uh, that they had done anything wrong and then uh, obviously briefing the BBC falsely about why that had happened. You'd actually communicated with Nigel Farage, haven't you, about sort of, did he ask to open an account with Bank of Dave? Well, he hasn't asked for an account, but he did get in touch with me. Uh, I wrote a piece in the Daily Mail uh, last week and Nigel and his team got in touch and he's asked me to meet him. So I will meet him. Whether you like Nigel or you don't, he deserves a bank account. You know, the only time you should be taking a bank account off somebody is if they've done something completely illegal or they've got involved in anti-money laundering. Now, Andrew Griffiths is the Treasury Secretary in the UK. He's done a good job for people wanting bank accounts. He's helping me at the moment push forwards Burnley Savings and Loans, myself and David H. And, of, of course, we've got MPs like Joe. Now, they're helping push forward, so they are looking at Nigel Farage and all these things, and they are trying to get change. I do believe the government are trying to get this thing sorted out. But, like I said, whether you like Nigel or not, he deserves a bank account.
from the perspective of what you're trying to do with your community and how you're running your, your, your bank, can you see that sort of the government and what we're seeing now, particularly with these profits and what's happening and they're not passing on of the interest rate to the savers, can you see the government trying to put into more community-based banking in the same format of yours? Because there will be people watching this morning going, I want to bank with Dave. I don't want to bank with NatWest, where they're going to get £3.59 billion pounds worth of profit and wander away with all that money. And actually, I can't afford to buy my baby milk or I can't afford to feed my kids. Well, I mean, you've got... What we need is community banking, yeah. run by the community to benefit the community and not the bonus culture. David H looks at people as people. He's my right-hand man and he manually underwrites. How can a computer 300 miles away make a decision about a florist in Accrington? You know, and they talk about artificial intelligence coming. Do you know what, Ben? There's nothing wrong with normal intelligence. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just, it's all changing and not for the better. And then they say, you know, 60 banks a month are closing. That's one this morning, one this afternoon. You know, it's mm -hmm. wrong. We're going to be left with nothing. They're making tons of money. Of course they are. They're shutting their accounts. They're shutting places. Their overheads are going down. They're going to make more money. Have you got any advice for people if they're watching now, if they're really up against it? You know, I know you get letters the whole time. Obviously, you, you help the people that you can, but you can't help everybody. What, you know, what, what advice can you give to people to sort of ride out this tough time? You know, is, is there going to be light at the end of the tunnel? What can they do? Well, there is going to be light at the end of the tunnel and we all hope it's not a train coming the other way. <laughs> what, what big banks need to do is they need to get back to decency, honesty, ethics and morals. Or we need to move towards community banking. Rishi Sunak has said it, it stood up in Parliament on Prime Minister's questions with Andrew Griffiths and, and Joe and said, look, towards this model we should move. So there is movement in the government. They do want this to happen. We do need it sooner rather than later. But anybody that's really struggling out there, whatever you can do to pay down any debts, because if you put your money in the bank, they're not going to give you any savings, they're not going to give you any interest. So if you can pay down a credit card, it'll be a fortune. Pay that down first mm -hmm. and become the Bank of Ben or the Bank of Charlotte. Mm -hmm. You know, become who you can become by paying down anything yeah. because you ain't going to get nothing in the, the bank. Rigorous. Failing that, we'll all be moving to Burnley, won't we? Centre of the over. universe. <laughs> the, uh, the last time we saw you, we were just about to head off to America for the big launch of the film over there. That's been delayed a little bit, but you did go down under, didn't you? Well, America's been uh, launched on the 25th of August. So I'm going out there. It's going into cinemas across America, so I'm going out to LA. Amazing. Yeah, and then it'll go on to the streamers and Netflix and whatnot. And then I went out to Australia and New Zealand a couple of weeks ago and launched it there. And do you know what? They've got the same issues as us. They were saying to me, I met this lady from Billabong, which sounds like Burnley, but nearly. <laughs> and it's the other side of the globe. And she said, Dave, I'm worried about my mortgage. It's gone from $1,200 to $2,000 a month, Australian dollars. And I said, it's the same in Britain. So it's happening all over the world. Yeah. It's a global issue. Well, there's so not enough people, of you, Dave. <laughs> My wife doesn't yeah. think so. We need, to, we need to clone you. That's what we need. That'll be the and answer. And the sequel as well. There's going to be a sequel. Oh, there's going to be a sequel, yeah. Netflix have, uh, have told everybody there's going to be a sequel. It's so exciting. Love that. Amazing. Dave, Brilliant. thank you for coming great in. To see you. Thank it's you. It's great to get your thoughts as well. And let's right. hope you keep getting some traction with the government as well, because our viewers this morning will absolutely be nodding along and agreeing with what you're saying. Thank you so much. Thanks.